everyone, and welcome back to this first edition of 2024 of the Collaboration Space podcast. And today we're going to be talking about the benefits of immersive collaboration in signature Microsoft Teams rooms. You know, we're talking a lot about the push to the return to the office. Some people still don't want to go, but we do want people in the office at least a few days a week. And we need to encourage employees to head back and to do that, we need to deliver a really immersive collaboration experience that makes that commute worthwhile. So in today's podcast, we're going to explore how our return to work goals affect Microsoft Teams Room's design and platform upgrades. And to help me today, I have a very special guest. I want to introduce to you Tom Arbuthnot, co-founder of Empowering Cloud. Hi, Tom. Thanks for joining me today. Hey, Nancy. Thanks for having me on the show. Great to be on the, the first one of 24 as well. I'm, I'm ready to kick it off. Um, Tom, for those who don't know, can you share a little bit about Empowering Cloud? Yeah, sure. Yeah, so uh, we're a community really focused on Microsoft Teams and Microsoft Modern Work. So we have a uh, community in terms of uh, videos from 30 subject matter experts. We do regular events. We have a, a newsletter with about 11,000 people on. And it's all about providing really good information to, to the industry and the community. And then we do research pieces. So things like comparing room systems, bars, recording, contact center. And we provide enablement services for partners and customers who need that extra bit of help. Perfect. Well, I really appreciate you taking the time to be here today. And to kick off our discussion, thinking about that immersive collaboration at the office, can you share some of the top trends that you're seeing in Teams Rooms design? Yeah, well, as you said, it's about giving a, a compelling experience to come to the office. Like we've all got used to working from home and actually if you've got decent kits at home, you can have a pretty good experience. So the office has to be that next level. Uh, and that's where we've seen what Microsoft are doing with the, the Microsoft Teams rooms and things like front row and new layouts and 21 by nine and things like spatial audio. You're kind of taking the experience to the next level where it's like, yes, you've you've committed me to I'll do that commute because I can have that great, great experience, either room to room or room to remote. And I know with the front row and signature rooms, you know, Microsoft is always responding to customer needs. You know, we're, everything's in, still in flux, right? And we need more and more in these rooms. So what, what's the latest on how Microsoft is enhancing both hardware and applications? Yeah, I think the big thing about the, the signature rooms is they're not just thinking about the, the, the compute room hardware, they're thinking about the total room layout. So how's the furniture optimized? How are the tables optimized? How's the layout optimized? So things like having, you know, multiple tables at different heights and having more collaborative spaces with a service hub where you're whiteboarding and then more meeting focused spaces where you're all around a, a room system and how those two things work together. So I love that with Signature, it's not just here's a room system as in the, the compute and the, the, the screen, but here's the, the whole experience. Yeah, and we know that, you know, AI is certainly top of mind, you know, for sure. Microsoft, what role is AI now playing in Microsoft Teams? Yeah, so so AI is is the thing throughout Microsoft at the moment. So they're they're looking to put AI and, and add value in all sorts of experiences. So in the Teams world, that's things like intelligent meeting recap, that's improved noise reduction in codecs. Um, in in rooms and meeting scenarios, uh, we have Copilot during the meeting. Uh, it's also coming to Microsoft whiteboarding. So things like being able to kick off designs with AI, have some ideas, that kind of thing. Uh, so so you'll see more and more in 24 where Microsoft are going to insert AI into the Teams and Meetings experience to optimize it. Yeah, and when you mentioned whiteboarding, my mind immediately went to Surface Hub, and I know Microsoft recently announced Surface Hub 3. Can you talk a little bit about you know what's new with Surface Hub? Yeah, Surface Hub's really exciting because it's kind of come into the Teams fold. So previously it ran its own OS and did its own thing. And now Surface Hub 3 is actually a Microsoft Teams rooms like other Microsoft Teams rooms. So now Surface Hub gets all those Teams rooms features, works with the peripherals um, and is a first party Teams experience, which I'm really excited about. So it's nice from a user experience point of view, you can go from a, you know, somebody else's MTR to a Surface Hub and have that same meeting experience. Yeah, so we have all these new capabilities, all these new devices, a great new room set up, but I've got to make sure that everything is up and running and ready, ready when needed. And I, I know that's something that AVI 
SPL focuses on with our services, keeping your rooms and devices and everything up and running. What's your feeling on, you know, does everything always need to be ready and what happens when it's not? Yeah, I mean, it just has to be, again, expectations are high, right? So particularly in these these types of rooms where you're, you're kitting it out and it's, you know, the, 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 the premier experience, you want to make sure things are working all the time and you can't have that experience where somebody walks into the room and it's not quite there because somebody's unplugged something or something things been rebooted or whatever it is so yeah monitoring proactive alerting testing all those things are really important um don't leave it to the meeting people to find out the room isn't working that's just a, it unwinds all that investment and all that work you've done you, you've taken away all the goodwill that you put out there to get people back yeah into yeah office. yeah if the room looks great <laughs> and they walk in but then they can't actually join the meeting then it doesn't really matter how great the room looks anymore Right, exactly. Um, well, Tom, thanks for sharing those thoughts. And I know you're going to be joining us for a few more events. We're going to see you at ISE. Um, Tom will be at our booth along with Rave and a few of AVI SPL's uh, leaders to talk a little bit more about AI and Copilot. Um, we're looking forward to that, Tom, to seeing you yeah, at ISE. That'll be, that'll be really good. ISE is going to be great. Lots going on there. And uh, excited to be on the AVI SPL stand and do some stuff with you guys. It'll be fun. Yeah, so all our listeners, uh, hope you'll be at ISC and be sure to look for that interview with Tom about AI and Copilot um, on our social channels and Rave's social channels around February 2nd. And then we also have uh, Tom is hosting a webinar on March 6th, a deeper dive into Microsoft Teams rooms and converged communication. So, Tom, we're certainly looking forward to talking a little bit more uh, in depthly on that March 6th event. Yeah, looking forward to that. There's lots we can pull in from the AVI SPL team on uh, real world experience with uh, MTR and Convergecom. So excited about that. Great. We'll look forward to both of that and seeing you again. Thanks, Tom, for joining me today. I appreciate it. Yeah, no, thanks, Nancy. Great to be on the show and uh, hope you'll be back soon. Absolutely. And uh, wishing everyone a successful 2024. Thanks again for listening. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss an episode. And if you prefer to listen to the audio version, just search for The Collaboration Space on your favorite podcast app. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time in The Collaboration Space. For more information, visit aviSPL.com slash Microsoft.